grove by the two lakes that is home to shamrock green frogs and shiny slimy snakes can be seen a place where the lost go to rest, their weary bodies on the smooth ground when they need a calming sleep that takes away the stress of the lives that they drown in, where they splash and cry, I am overwhelmed by all the feelings and sounds around, and get told, be quiet, or you're fine, and just try to get by. message or anything but I don't know maybe he's into me do you think do you think that what what just say it I know you think he's cute dude but I have dibs on all your free time and if you really think I'm going to be able to live without you on the weekends you're very mistaken oh my god you're talking about this like he's already asked me out it was just a feeling jeez you do you do you have your portable charger my phone's about to die so they try to float. They try to get by, showing signs that they learn to cope. But when asked questions, they lie, offering smiles and niceties to all around them in the crowd, appearing as if we're having a ball, when really everything feels too loud, saying, I'm doing great. I found my peace. Or I'm doing just... You know what's shitty? Hmm. Katie Wilson's tits doubled in size and I still don't even fit in a B cup at Victoria's Secret. 
I'm a B cup and my life isn't any better. Yeah, but you're a B cup, which means you don't have to worry about having nothing. Do my tits have anything to do with our history final? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Uh, my mom can't take you home. Can your dad pick you up? Uh, uh, no, but it, it's fine. I'll just take the bus. You sure? I could come with. Nah, it's fine. I've, I think I have enough credit on my bus pass. But they can't finish the line. The word gets stuck in their chest because it's just not right. This time, they no longer want to lie, smile, and be nice. So they look the person in the eyes and say, I am not fine. And that's when it happens, the opening of their mind. A door colored ebony and etched with vines appears right before them, offers a choice, saying, open me and find peace, or keep me closed and fall to pieces. And without hesitation, they take that leap. Dude, I don't hear from you for days, and then you show up with that on your eye? Hey. It's all right. Do you want to talk about it? If I tell you, you promise not to get upset, okay? Fine. I promise. My dad threw a jar at my face. I, we were fighting because he said I had an attitude and I'm ungrateful for everything he's done for me, but I, I feel like that's not fair because, you know, he's, he's my dad. He's supposed to care for me. A anyways, it, it looks worse than it is. I've, I've been icing it, you know, it's just like, it's awkward. Sit in my room. And he stays in his office. You wanna stay at my house for a few days? I can't. I'm on like lockdown. I'm, I'm not grounded, but like I had to lie and say that I was going to get tampons to come see you. Shit, man. I found this poem online. Reminded me of you. It sort of talks about being sad and sitting with those feelings. You seemed weird the past few months, and I want you to know I am always here for you. I will always listen to you, Anna Bobana. It's called Feelings Can Be Too Deep. All I Want to Do Is Sleep. I don't know. I figured you'd relate to it or not. Should I read it out loud? You don't have to. On the other side of that dark door they see a grove tucked between two lakes that are home to frogs and snakes. Their mind goes quiet, the sounds just right, and slowly sway into a soft sleep. Feeling can be too deep and all I want to do is sleep. So I do, and I dream of a faraway place of peace, and that's a great feat for a lost person like me.